dream meaning of bazaar, market. To see bazaar in a dream refers to having property. It symbolizes valuable commodities and money that will be earned. Alternatively, this dream may suggest that you will compete, you will make the right decision after you oscillate between two options, you will establish intimacy with a scientist to increase your information about religion. To see Grand Bazaar in your dream signifies having a valuable property or commodity. However, you have to overcome some obstacles to use this property. A food bazaar refers to abundance, textile bazaar implies that you will beautify your home and environment. A bazaar where construction stuffs were sold refers to house or farm. A bazaar where valuable things were sold symbolizes gold and money. To see of going to bazaar in your dream implies that you will make investment to have property and you will save money. To walk around a bazaar in your dream indicates that you will consult to your relatives in order to make good use of money. To see an abandoned, ruinous, silent market in your dream implies that you will sell your property off under its value because of your need. To dream that you are running in bazaar, you see people who are running indicates that there will be an important meeting in your city, a crowd will occur for a short term and you will utilize from this crowd. To see that you do shopping in market in your dream signifies that you will take a crack at a valuable commodity or property after you make your decision definite. To dream that you are lost in bazaar indicates that a dissuading different option will emerge as you decide and you will change your own thing with a new one. To dream that you are working in bazaar, making sales, carrying goods suggests that you will start to trade. To see that the market is crowded in your dream indicates that many people want to have the commodity, which you will sell, many people will support you about the property, which you will get. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood, though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds, or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, However, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8 hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical 2 hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. 
Some cultures practice dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include to represent unconscious desires and wishes to interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep to consolidate and process information gathered during the day to work as a form of psychotherapy from converging evidence and new research methodologies researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing consolidates learning and memory tasks is a subsystem of the waking default network which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real life experiences participates in the development of cognitive capabilities is psychoanalytic dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow. Why are dreams hard to remember? Researchers estimate that 5 minutes after a dream, people have forgotten 50% of its content, increasing to 90% another 5 minutes later. Most dreams are entirely forgotten by the time someone wakes up. It is not known precisely why dreams are so hard to remember. However, there are several steps that people can take to improve their dream recall. These include Waking up naturally and not with an alarm Focusing on the dream as much as possible upon waking Writing down as much about the dream as possible upon waking Making recording dreams a routine <laughs>